it's absolutely unbelievable, this storm. Uh, that heavy band that we talked about at 6 o'clock in Rensselaer, Columbia, and Berkshire County moved to the east and stopped. The Berkshires continue to get hammered, and I expect some areas in the Berkshires to come up uh, 25, 30 inches of snow before this thing uh, winds down. Let's go to the radar here. Uh, lighter snow through the capital region and to points west. Now, we're going to have some periodic light snow here overnight, but the focus is the Berkshires. Let's put it into motion. You see that band that continues, that darker green, basically the spine of the Green Mountains through the spine of the Berkshires. Savoy all the way down to Beckett and Otis into northwest Connecticut. It's still snowing two inches per hour, hour after hour. Let's come back to me here at the graphics. Let's go over what some of the higher snowfall totals that we have as of right now. In the Berkshires, it will likely go up. Austerlitz, 22. Copake Lake, 21, Columbia County. Pine Plains in Dutchess County, 20. Hillsdale in Columbia County, 19. Clarksburg in the northern Berkshires, 18 inches of snow. But again, it's still snowing heavily there. We had a snow blitz during the evening news. Intense snow. This was at 515. Three to five inches of snow per hour. Now let's go to uh, 530. There's that band sliding up towards Pittsfield. Let's go to 545. And again, you can see the intensity of this band as it moved northeastward. And in that band, literally, it was blinding snow into the northern Berkshires and uh, southern Vermont. This is incredible when you think about it. I've been doing this a long time. You don't see this too often. In Austerlitz, from 5 p.m. to 635, 9 to 16 inches of snow. Went from 9 to 16. That's 7 inches of snow in one hour, in 35 minutes, some rumbles of thunder. In Adams, Massachusetts, from 6 to 730, four inches of snow fell. And around 730 tonight, Stamford, Vermont, in southern Vermont, in 45 minutes, had six inches of snow. The storm now reforming to the east. Heaviest snow still in New England. We're right on the back edge, so things are winding down here. It's going to take a few more hours for Berkshire County, no doubt. All right, let's check in with meteorologist Tim Drawbridge. Tim's been studying and watching this storm all day. He's out on the uh, News 10 weather deck. Tim, amazing, amazing storm the way it turned out. You've got that right, Cap. But some of you out in the Berkshires only had a few inches of snow coming out of the noon newscast. Some of you really not seeing much. But again, late afternoon to this evening, check out these totals because they are absolutely outstanding. Again, Cap told you about Austerlitz and Copake Lake. Chatham, 20 inches of snow. 18 at Savoy. Adams, 17 inches of snow. Stockbridge, Mass. Checking in with 15 as well as Woodford, Vermont. Cheshire. Uh, 15 inches, Columbia County at Churchtown, down in Dutchess, LaGrange at 15, Rhinebeck down in Dutchess, as well as Red Hook, 15 and 14 inches of snow, respectively. A foot, Westerlow, a foot, Altima, Tiringham over in uh, the Berkshires at 12 inches of snow. Here at News 10, 7 and a half, Del Mar, 7, Cambridge in southeastern Washington County, 5, Warrensburg, and Long Lake. The further north you went, that's where we saw the least amount of snow. Cap? Basically, as Tim mentioned, north the snow dropped off, and as you got west of Amsterdam, the snow was significantly less, and we're right on the edge of the heaviest snow here in Albany. Meteorologist Greg Pollock is in the mobile storm tracker tonight, and I know, Greg, you've had a long day. You're the marathon man today, no doubt about it. Um, you're on your way towards Austerlitz. You're on the Berkshire Spur right now. Tell us how conditions are. Yeah, well, right now, it's still light snow, so we still have that. Uh, let me show you the roads and see what we got going on. The roads, I mean, we're talking about the plows coming up and down here, and they've been doing a magnificent job uh, with uh, clearing out the snow. 
Uh, so it's it's fantastic uh, in in terms of how how hard they've worked here through the day and and also through the evening and through the overnight period. Uh, so we're talking about the snow um, in Austerlitz, as you say, Cap. We saw that seven-inch amount in a matter of an hour and a half, and I gotta say. I am very excited to see this amount of snow in Austerlitz, and we'll have a live report coming up in the mobile storm tracker. Uh, we'll have a live report in, in Austerlitz coming up in uh, just a bit. Back to you.